<laughs> What's going on, family? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. We've had snow, we've had all kinds of drama, and you'll see some of the stuff that we've been dealing with. Uh... We found where our plumbing has been leaking and we're in the middle of fixing it. As you can see, um, had to break out the tub, toilets up there, vanity, and a bunch of carpet. Anyways, let's... Uh, Let's take you to where the action is. Show you some of the stuff that uh, we've been doing. So you can see that's where the tub was and the vanity was behind this plastic here. So this is the master bedroom closet. And as you can see, this orange line is where the sewage pipe runs through. And the two green lines that uh, are flanking the orange ones, right? That's the trench that needs to be busted out. So... <clears throat> What we're going to end up doing is, this is where the tub was, right here, that we had to break out. And then, uh, toilet. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to replace the toilet. But we're going to do it where the tub is. And then, right about where that pile of debris is. We're putting in a pocket door so we have a private toilet room. Then we're going to have a vanity and then we're going to have a shower. So this door here will be, will be canceled. Canceled. That should probably ring a bell with uh, some of these uh, newer generation, right? Canceled. Anyways, we're going to cancel this door. We're going to... That'll be a continuous wall, and right up here will be the shower head, and a wall coming this way to a walk-in shower, no tub. We're going to end up blowing this wall out and extending the master bedroom 
into the other bedroom. Let's, uh, let's go through this plastic here. So this is another room and the break in the pipe is literally between the master bedroom closet and this wall here. So what we're gonna end up doing is this little closet here is opposite of that wall that I said we're gonna blow out and we're gonna bring that room all the way in here and that's gonna gain us another 40 inches So you can see where they're going to replace the pipe to and it'll be two feet flanking that orange line. You can see how they've closed this off. But it ruined our carpet and I'll put a uh, part of the video that I shot right after this. So the water's coming up through the floor. So this is a result of the pipe leaking. like a this is like a sponge so this carpet's ruined it stinks in here So as you can see, you saw the video with the carpet, it was saturated, just ruined. And so we have a four bedroom, this is a four bedroom house. And we've, we've had to vacate two bedrooms. So you can see the living room is just full of stuff and we ended up having to, I ended up building this temporary wall here. Um, this is my office, was, now it's uh, our bedroom and for, for right now, right? So we're living we're essentially living in a two bedroom house and living, moving the master bedroom and all the spare stuff into my office while this is. So yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things that has been going on. It's, Pretty cool because we're finally getting to do some, some stuff. Uh, the problem that we were having is we're having to deal with finding the problem, finding the the plumbing problem, where was the leak? One company said it was here, another company said it was there, and everybody wanted to charge me an arm and a leg. Thank God that uh, it rained and snowed and all the dirt outside of our house was saturated that the water was actually coming up through the floor.
so that uh, so that we finally figured out which bathroom was leaking where where the bathroom seeing that we have three where well, we had three tubs three toilets three sinks or three vanities right three labs so so yeah so that's <laughs> that's what's going on and again it's a uh, normally if uh If, uh, how can I say it, in, in, uh, in another time with uh, different circumstances, I would have been stressing out and wigging out. I'd have been losing it. I'd be, I'd be losing it. I'd be mad and throwing things and, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And one of the things that, uh. I've noticed, and I've shared this with my wife, I'll share it with you guys, is that moving, moving away from, from the rat race, moving away from, from uh, where we came from, it, it's just, uh, I'm learning how to, I'm re- learning how to relax. I'm learning how to, how to uh, enjoy life, which is weird because it seems like people are hating life right now. People are, people are going, I mean, this is bizarro world. This is, this is clown country, you know, um, man, we're losing our sanity. We're losing our, don't get me wrong. I'm, it gets to me too, but, um, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave uh, gave us a spirit of power and of a sound mind, and we have to think, and to think that <laughs> man, it, it's uh, to think that one person. Uh, is going to babe do me a favor where's your your uh your face shield in the car in the truck in my truck okay thanks i'm gonna um i'm gonna see if i could demonstrate this somehow without being obvious right because there's headhunters out there there's there's uh there's headhunters and they're they they lost their mind and they want other people to lose their mind too and the sad part the really, really sad part is that people in general are willing to give up their gray matter, right? And, and, and not use their noodle. Instead, I used to, um, when I used to teach, I, I would be asked by some of my apprentices, hey, Flores, what do you think I should do about this or that? Hey, do you think I should buy a house? Hey, do you think I should go to college? Hey, do you think I should do this? Hey, do you think I should do that? And I would answer, I don't know what you should do. You should do what you should do and figure it out. I don't need to tell you what to do. That's too easy. That's too easy and lays way too much responsibility on me. 
Because then when you screw up, well, you know what? Flores told me. Flores told me to do that. And he was wrong, and it's his fault. It's his fault that I bought a house and I can't make my payments, and now I'm losing my house. Right? It's his fault. It's his fault that I did this or I did that. And that's too easy. You, you relinquish responsibility. You relinquish <laughs> your God-given brain to somebody else. <laughs> you relinquish everything that makes you you. Right? Everything. I mean, you think about society. And I know I'm getting preachy, but you, you, you think about society and, and, and you have parents blaming teachers that Johnny or Sally is running around like a ape doing ape things, doing, acting like a beast. And it, it, it's so frustrating because parents, that's your responsibility. I have three and it's my responsibility. And you know what? If they came out wrong, if they did this, if they did that, it's my fault. And I take full responsibility. And it's amazing how many people won't take responsibility. Right? And we're going to blame some person. Right? Because now I'm being asked. Right? Let's see. Now I'm being asked. I mean, how many of these do I need to wear? How many of these do I need to wear? I can't see. Do you not understand? I can't see. The more I wear, the safer I am, right? I mean, how many more layers do I need? Two more? Three more? Four more? Five more? Really? How many? How many is enough? What am I protecting myself from? Oxygen? Is that what I'm protecting myself from? Because, you know, if we don't want to die, they say that 100% of the people that breathe die. 100% of the people that breathe die. <clears throat> Stop breathing. Stop breathing. How many more do I need? Lunacy. Freaking lunacy. Freaking lunacy. God gave us a brain. Unreal. Unreal. We've lost our collective brain. It's too easy. It's too easy to remove your brain and let somebody else make decisions for you because it relinquishes, because you relinquish responsibility. 
you're letting somebody else think for you. Now, that being said, don't let me think for you. Don't let me think for you. Think for yourself. Come to the conclusion yourself. Sit there. Get off your phone. Well, get off your phone after you watch this video. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Get off your computer. Stop playing your games. Sit down. Sit down on your couch. Go outside. Put it down. And think. Think about whatever. Think about the grass growing. Think about the clouds moving up ahead. Think. Think. I'm going to turn off my phone now. I'm going to go edit this. And then I'm going to think. For myself. Peace.